Okay, this is an, a, basically an immediate reaction to a fight that I just witnessed. Uh, was the quarterfinals between Lazaro Alvarez of Cuba and Carlos Balderas Jr. of the United States. And um, this is basically the only the fourth uh, bad decision that I've seen all of these Olympics. Um, I, I thought that Carlos Balderas c clearly controlled the first round. Um, he was switch hitting and hitting Alvarez with pretty much every punch that he felt like throwing. Alvarez was uh, trying to outbox him, but he really couldn't. Balderas' uh, volume and just his overall accuracy was uh, clearly in control in that first round. The second round was a little bit closer, but Balderas scored a, not scored a knockdown that really should have been counted, but it wasn't. He clipped uh, Lazaro Alvarez high on the head, put him down right on his behind, and uh, the ref didn't call it, didn't give any kind of eight count or anything. And the judges, for some somehow, some way, they found both of the first two rounds to give to Lazaro Alvarez. The only round that actually gave Alvarez was the third round, where he was able to keep uh, Balderas at a distance. Neither of them really landed a whole hell of a lot of significance in that third round, but over Alvarez was able to control the distance and the pace, so that pretty much won out uh, for my card in terms of the fact that neither of them was able to really land with... Uh, consistently cleanly um, they both landed about equal numbers um, Alvarez possibly a little bit more consistent possibly a little bit cleaner but I thought that he um, controlled in terms of uh, the ring generalship and defense in the third round but otherwise in the th in the first round I thought he got manhandled in the second round he got put on his ass so um, just uh, you know another bad decision unfortunately and uh, it's really unfortunate that had to come at the expense of a medal um, for Balderas, you know, would have been a big boon to his career going uh, once he turns pro, which is the, the plan after these Olympics for him to turn pro. Um, if he would have had a medal uh, to back up his amateur stature, his amateur accomplishments, and, uh, you know, uh, um, whoever happens to sign him as a pro, you know, that, that would have been a nice, uh, something nice to hang your, um, you know, hang your head on, essentially. Uh, the same way that uh, Nico Hernandez, who actually had just fought right before him, was able to with uh, his bronze medal. Um, in spite of the fact that you know he lost to uh, Duzmatov in the semifinals, unfortunately for Balderas, he's not even going to reach the semifinals because of bad judging. Um, I, I don't know how those, how all three judges gave both of the first two rounds to Alvarez, and I'm guessing they probably all gave the, the last round to him as well. I didn't, I wasn't able to see the scorecard afterwards, but because I was, um, I wanted to jump on recording this uh, pretty much immediately. Um, but yeah, a bad decision. Um, I'm seeing. Uh, the Brazil's hometown hero, Robson Conceição, fighting in there against uh, another Uzbek fighter. Um, I'm sure he'll probably actually win this fight and uh, wind up meeting Alvarez in the semifinals. And actually, I think, yeah, I I'm favoring him to uh, to get a medal, whether it's gold or silver. Conceição's uh, been probably the best Brazilian fighter of all these Olympics. So. But I'm going on a little bit of a tangent right now. Bad decision for Balderas. Um, really unfortunate to see uh, another... You know, uh, well, just uh, you know, another fighter get kind of um, robbed of what would have otherwise been some some good glory for him, and get robbed of a medal. You know, unfortunately, you know that's it's one that's one of those things that can't be taken away. You know, when you win a medal, when you win an Olympic medal, that that's something that can't be taken away from you. Um, you know, in the, the regardless of whatever happens after that, you know, as a pro or whatever else. Um, and it's it's really sad to see that he wasn't able to get his day in the spotlight the way he deserved to. And, um, I mean, honestly, I think that he could have potentially gone all the way. Uh, just an uh, unfortunate circumstance for him. But, um, you know, Balderas is going to be going pro soon. Hopefully he has better luck in the pros. And, um, you know, just uh, better luck with the judges and the whole nine. And um, hopefully we I don't have to make too many more of these videos, um, especially with uh, some of the other... Uh, divisions starting to get into the swing of things, you know, the, the men's flyweights, the men's bantamweights, as well as the women's divisions who all just started today. So that's it for this one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.